for who, anybody who doesn't know, this is what the Fender for, for, for the Rocket Bunny looks like for the 350Z. Now I did buy a rep kit, so this kit does not fit the greatest. Or are these lines the smoothest? This kit's gonna take a lot of work to get it to fit my car right, but that's what you get when you buy a rep kit. <laughs> This over fender has so many points of contact onto the actual body of the car. Like I need to cut all that. And like I know how much I need to cut. No turning back now. As you can see, that entire area of the stock fender has to go. Do I know what I'm doing? No, but we're in this together. I will get there. Here's normally the part where you would tape your fenders before you start cutting, but I honestly really don't care. I'm just gonna start cutting away. Buy a stock fender. Oh, my ears are ringing right now. Oh my god. Oh, it'd be nice if I would take off the fender liners. Top part off, and I need to
but this is actually the second day of me trying to install this on my car last time i finished i got the whole fender mounted on the car but i did a terrible job of showing what i was doing i still have to cut this entire fender so that's going to be my goal for today so by the time this video is done that fender should be on that fender the last time I did this, I did a good job of showing on how I'm actually cutting my fender. I do a better job of showing how I'm actually mounting the over fender on the fender rather than just cutting. But I still need to cut first. Cutting is the first step on doing this. I'm just gonna start. First off, I should take this stupid side skirt off. Finally got this off, now it's time to mount the other one. Since I'm alone, I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing first, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just so I can mount, because I am by myself. So I'm running Downstar hardware for this car, and so basically what I did is I drilled out every single hole for the rib nuts first, or for the walnuts. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna drill, drill out every single hole so I can get every walnut to fit. <laughs> So for everybody who doesn't know what Downstar hardware is, basically it's just fancy hardware to hold everything in. It's three parts. It's this piece, it's called the well nut. And then you have your bolt and you have your beauty washer. The beauty washer and the nut sit on the outside, fit this well nut into the hole. And the way this works is it has like little threads on the inside. So, Allen key, let me get my Allen key. You twist it with an Allen key side of the well nut 
hands out. That's what I'm using to hold the fenders on the car. It was like $200 for all the hardware for this car, but it's worth it. Looks sick. So with it, so the way I've seen people do this in the past um, is they fit each hole that they drilled out with this first, and then they fit the weld nut on the back. So like how this one I have set up already, and you kind of tighten it and you put it in the hole, and then you tighten it and it sticks. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and start doing. So I don't think I drilled correctly, but I'm not positive on that. I think this kit just has some fitment issues, but I'm having a little bit of a gapping issue right there. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna get a heat, take a heat gun to this and see if I can get it just to sit against the fender a little bit better. It should work, but if I can, I'm just gonna have to see what else I can do. I got both fenders done. The next time I pick up, um, I'm gonna try to install the two rear over fenders. This one on the other side. And that's really all I need left. <laughs> 